What is up guys? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 16 and we're back at it again. We're going to work on some of the tram today. Hopefully we're going to get that thing all the way to its destination, all the way over at H. <laughs> over that journal area. That's where Big Red is. That's where our hangar is going to be. But before we do any of that, you guys had some good suggestions for the Hall of Legends. First one is get rid of this door. It looks ugly. We need to add the window door. I think that's what it's called. The window door? Window. Oh shoot, there's a bunch. Um... Window door. This one, maybe? Okay, we're going to add this one right here. Oh, my color's messed up. We're going to add this window door to there, and I think that'll match with those. What do you require? You require girders. Oh, ew. Okay. Well, we can use our cool little tactic to boop, click right there with the middle mouse button to grab all the components. That's always nice. Now we can build that thing right up. Look at that. That looks way better. I Thank you guys so much for the suggestion. It looks really good. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, I like how it opens, too. Uh, we've got ourselves another legend that's been added to the Hall of Legends. So that's going to be added. And this is Cambassador. We're going to add this legend. Let me real quick fix up two of these. I don't think I have the stuff to, so let me go and fix those up. All right, there we go. Our second legend has been added. It's Cambassador. So we have Frankie Bolodek and Cambassador so far in the Hall of Legends. That's nice. It's not as lonely in here with two people. <laughs> We have room for one, two, three, four, five more. I don't, again, I, I didn't think we'd get two, but I don't think we'll get more for sure. And if we do, I don't know what we're going to do. We might extend it that way or something. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I actually think I have his image done. Let me see if I can get it loaded on here real quick. All right, there we go. That is actually really cool. I've never done that before. Um, but for all of you guys who have no clue what's going on, uh, for all of the, the legend patron tiers, I do a drawing. So for Frankie Boiled Egg, I did a, uh, he wanted a, um, a, like a fox. So, uh, so I did this fox drawing and that, that's, you know, I'm not really great at drawing, but that's the, that's the end of it. Or that's the, the, the output, I guess. Uh, for Cambassador, Cambassador wants a, a dinosaur drawn in MS Paint. And I haven't actually gotten around to doing that, but once I do, it'll go right up there. And for any other future legend that we have in here, they're going to get their drawing plastered right at the top. So everyone can see the monstrosity. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's, it's not that bad, especially in this one. It's all pixelated, so you can see that, uh, you know, it actually looks better than it does <laughs> in the real thing. Okay, anyway, there we go. That's done. That's, well, it's done for now. This one will go, come up pretty soon, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool so far. I can't wait to have, like, a couple more of these things. It'll be so cool to see. Hopefully, my drawing gets better from, one, from e like, each one, because I want to get better at drawing. That's kind of the main reason that that's there, but there you go, Frankie. I, for being the first legend, you get to be right smack dab in the middle. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. You can see it from all the way over here. Okay, so today we're going to try and do a lot on the tram, a lot of stuff. Uh, to try and get the tram running. Now, one of the things I want to do first is I want to pimp out the tram so it looks a lot like, a lot like the Half-Life... Oh, God, what happened? Why is this tilted? Uh, maybe it's not that tilted. It just looks tilted. Maybe I'm just weird, but... Is that tilted? I feel like that is. Let's get up to the top real quick and see. No, it doesn't actually look that tilted, but for some reason down there it looks... T well, okay, maybe it is a little bit tilted. You know what? It's fine, I think. <laughs> Okay, one of the things we're going to do, we're going to start by, by pimping this thing out to look a lot like the Half-Life tram uh, from the game. And then we're going to try and uh, get this thing, get this tunnel built. And the way we're going to build the tunnel is going to be the hard way, which um, is probably surprising for a lot of you, considering I'm the one who's doing it. We're going to stick a bunch of drills on this thing. We're going to stick a bunch of welders on this thing. We're going to try to uh, to have a... a um, a projector project a pattern over there and we're going to weld it as we go so it's going to be totally fun uh, but let's get to the first part of this i've got a secondary camera so you'll be you'll be able to see all the fun stuff happening from a third perspective or a second perspective so here we go
Alrighty, here's our Half-Life train so far. Maybe there's some edits. I don't know. It looks pretty good, I think. So basically, um, I've, I, hopefully I remember to put a picture of the actual Half-Life train on the, um, on, the, on the screen at this time. So you guys know what I'm trying to go for. But we've got the carpet kind of thing going on here. We've got this side that's clearly open where there's the dude who's usually standing there saying, Mr. Freeman, pleasure to see you. Or whatever he says. And then there's the seats, you know, and then there's a little gap and then there's more seats. So yeah, it's the Half-Life train. <laughs> All we need is a couple of acid pits in the, uh, in the, uh, on the way so that we can go there. Oh, there's also a light in the front uh, just so that we can kind of see where we're going. But it's a single light, so it's, it's kind of still going to be kind of dark, but we'll be able to see at least. So what do you guys think of the Half-Life train? Okay guys, get ready because we're gonna be doing something insanely crazy for my standards. Usually what I would do is I would just, you know, I'd just mine out the area that we wanna go and then I'd build the track. That's the easy way. But no, we wanna do this the fun way, the cool way, the awesome way. And the way that's going to be is having this mine itself over to our destination while it welds the track as it goes. That's the dangerous and fun way. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Uh, there are a couple steps we need to follow before we can do that. First, we need to add some drills to this thing that will drill out the front as it drives then we need to add some welders that are going to be welding every piece that you see uh, right now that's on here the welders are going to have to be able to weld that and then we're going to have to add some uh add the actual track and i have a, a way we're going to do that but let's start with the drills first and i think the drills we're going to do we're going to go out a little bit first so let's do uh let's take this piece right here and go out quite a bit so we have like a little bit of room in the front and we'll do the same thing on this side so that they're roughly you know we want them to be roughly even that's even uh okay now we're going to do g and we're gonna grab some drills oop not dro dri there we go my spelling has always been horrible it's not gonna change soon okay we're gonna stick those babies right here we don't need them to be connected to anything we just need them to be kind of out front and we're going to try and build these things up looks like we need some large steel too ah <laughs> so we need some large steel tubes uh okay so those are there that should deal with everything on the bottom area. We're going to probably want to put some drills on this as well. Um, right here. So we'll stick a drill right there and we'll stick a drill right here. These ones aren't as um, out. Like these ones are kind of far out. These ones aren't as out. They're just a little bit closer. And we'll stick one in the middle as well just for safety. We probably don't need that. But you know what? It's better to have that than to not have that. And that should weld out this general area. Um, what next? We're probably going to want to drill a little higher as well, so it can weld out this whole area. In fact, we might stick drills up here. So stick a drill right here, and stick a drill on the other side to do the same thing, so it can drill up this area. And if we want to go overboard, we could probably stick one here too. But I think that might uh, it might have trouble getting through that um, on the turns. I'm a little bit hesitant here, because I'm wondering if this is going to get enough area for up there. Like, as we're going, if it's going to clear out all that area, or if we want to, instead of doing it this way, let's, uh, yeah, let's do this instead. This is going to be the better way. Okay, we're going to go out quite a bit on this side. We'll remove this middle one in a second. Okay, go out quite a bit on this side, then come back inward like this. We're going to remove this one right here, and we're going to stick that instead right here. So that's going to put it a little bit forward, which is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Stick these ones... We might need to go out a little bit more. Oh, we're running out of stuff. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the no hydrogen bottle challenge is kind of painful sometimes, but I, I feel like I'll have a good sense of accomplishment once it's, you know, once once the, um, once I can look back and say all of that was done without uh, hydrogen bottles and stuff. That's why we do things on survival anyway, right? So we can be like, all that was hard work. Blood, sweat, and tears went into that. Okay, that should clear out enough area for that. I'm, I don't know if it'll clear out enough because of that top area, but we can probably do something about that somehow. We'll we'll go a little bit and we'll see if it's having trouble, and if it is, we'll reevaluate our system. Okay, coolio, coolio, coolio. So that is the drills. We're going to get those built in a second. Uh, we need to get the welders as well. So we need a welder to hit every single piece that we see on this thing. So this piece right here, the uh, two others down there, and we're going to need the two right here. So how do we want to do that? Okay, so these should hopefully weld both of it. So this should weld the left and the middle one, and that should weld the right and the middle one. So everything will get the middle one, and then they'll each get their side. So that's the bottom one set. So technically, we could just probably go, and we could only weld the bottom part, and it'd be fine. 
for the most part, but uh, I don't know. I don't trust it that much. We want to grab these ones as well so these wheels have something to stay on. Otherwise, we're just kind of running on a big track and we could fall off at any moment. So for these ones, we're going to want to somehow... This is going to be really hard, actually. How do we want to do this? Alrighty, here we go. I think everything is set up properly. We're very front heavy, though, at this point because of all this stuff. However, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So we got the bottom drills at the bottom, of course, and they're going to drill forward. We've got the side drills that are going to drill the side. We've got a drill right in front of these things, which are going to drill right before this uh, this place is. Then we've got uh, some drills up at the top. This is going to drill out the side. This is going to drill out the front, and this is going to drill out the inside. And we've got the same exact uh, thing on the this side right here and then we've got some welders on each side that are going to weld the uh, the blocks that are placed there so yeah it should work out pretty well checking these make sure it's not super front heavy I think it might be which is not great but it, it, you know what it'll probably be fine okay let's go ahead and weld all this stuff we'll probably use our ship here to well it's probably gonna be really hard to do that maybe we'll just run around and weld it because it's all small small grid blocks easy but uh, we'll do that, then we'll go place some steel plates in there, and we'll see if we can get this thing running. Alright, this is step one. We've got pretty much everything done. We're probably going to Well, we're either going to wire it up, or we're just going to put steel plates in each of these things. I mean, either could work. Uh, now let's go and make the track that this thing's going to go on. Basically, it's just going to be a long straightaway. We're going to need a lot of steel plates. What do you, what do you have? My connector. My connector dude. You have a bunch of steel plates. I'm going to steal a couple of these and I'm going to hand you some of this stuff because I don't need this uh, as much right now. So I'm going to steal a couple of these and let's go and build the uh, the track piece that we're going to use. We're going to do this top side so we can actually uh, see how long it's going to be. Okay, this is probably a good place to do it. Actually, we can even see, if we look down, we can see where we want the... Um, <laughs> we can see where... Okay, where's our ship? I don't know where it is. But we have to go this way. So how far do we have to go roughly? In blocks let's say we have to go 300 meters in that way direction so we need a 300 meter straight track piece let's start right here and we're gonna delete this all afterwards but for now let's go like this we're gonna need something like this pretty much and it's gonna go straight up like that and we need one to be that's a decent length so we can use it as a track piece All right, there we go. That's a pretty good track piece. So we're going to start with this end right here, and we're going to build all the way until we get to that end right there. So what's going to happen is we're going to stick this on the projector, and we're going to, it's basically going to, going to allow us to uh, weld this stuff in place. And we're going to go as far as there, and then that's going to stop us from going any further so we don't fall off the track. And once we get there, we need to reposition the projector up to there so we can just continue further. Let's go ahead and copy this as a blueprint, and we're going to use this in our projector. Okay, time to get this projector working. We're gonna grab all the pieces. Oh, shit, I should probably put back some stuff, shouldn't I? Uh, here, take some of these, and uh, actually, I still need those. Take all those. There we go, okay, we should have everything we need for the projector. Projectors are fun. I've only used them like once in this series. And I've only used, well, twice. No, we made the projector thing, didn't we? That is really slanted. Okay, let's go up here and we'll stick the projector on top right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna position it such that it is where we want it to be. Okie dokie. This is going to be the fun part. Now, so these grids right here, this one right here and this grid right here are not really connected. They're kind of connected because what I had to do is go in and actually manually connect them. What had happened was this is not connected to anything um, and this is connected to that. Now, this was originally connected all the way over there, but remember we destroyed that once we built the other thing, or the other way of holding it up, so... It's no longer physically connected, which is kind of annoying, but it's it's fine. It, it'll work. Okay, how do we want to do this? We're going to have to use... We're going to have to use some sort of... Uh, of uh, Whatchamacallit? One of these things. What? I don't have any steel plates. Are you kidding? Uh, you must be kidding. Yeah, you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay there we go it's up there what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on here and we're gonna see if we can get this projector projecting so projector go over here we're gonna go down to what is it blueprints i think and we're gonna look for uh proj okay yeah that's the one that's our tram piece let's go ahead and open that up oh this is gonna be fun i think it's the wrong way 
So we're gonna have to do some some fun stuff. Okay, so this is going the right way. We just need to offset it a little bit. So it needs to be offset forward and down, pretty much. So let's go ahead and do that. Projector. Uh, vertical. What is vertical? Okay, we do need to do vertical offset to about that. Then we need to do forward offset to about that. I think it's on the front. Then you do horizontal offset to that, I think. And that should be perfect. Aha! Wait, is it? So if I keep going this way, I should continue to see blocks. Yep, okay, I think this is exactly how we want it. So now, what we should be able to do is just drive forward, and this whole thing will uh, will build it for us. We're obviously going to need a lot of steel plates for this thing. I haven't really calculated it out, but... Well, if we, calc if we do a rough calculation, we need one, two, three, four, five. So per block thing, we're going to need 125 steel plates. And how many block things are there? I didn't count. But uh, 125 steel plates, probably times 20. That's going to be, uh, you know, two, 250,000 steel plates. Oh, that's not right. It's only 2,500 steel plates for pretty much like one segment of this. So let's go and grab as many steel plates as we can. Okay, so we've got about 1,000 steel plates in that one, 1,000 steel plates in that one. And since those are just servicing this middle piece right here, I think that's probably going to be perfectly fine for a long time. Then we've got about uh, how many in this one? Like 3,000? 1,500 in this one, so that should be good for a little while as well. Uh, I think we're probably good to go to test this thing out. What do we have to do to get this thing going? I don't think anything other than maybe address the fact that it's horribly balanced here, which is not amazing. I tried to offset it like do doing something like this, but that didn't seem to help that much. You know, it's probably going to be fine. Let's uh, let's hop in this thing and see if we can give it a go. So we're going to go for block tools first. We're going to grab this, and it's going to be here. Then we're going to go for... We're going to do a welder on-off kind of thing for the welder pieces. So now they should be on, which means it's pretty dangerous to go anywhere near them. Yeah, because they'll, they'll murder you. I'm going to grab some of this, and we'll be on our way. Um, okay, and then this... How many of these are working? I want to I want to know if the ones on... There are working. Are those? I want to know if these ones right here are working specifically because uh, I need to be able to use the ones that are on the rotors. So let's remove some of this so we can see a little bit from there. Okay, they are working. That's good. So we can right-click mine properly. Let's go into third-person mode. Oh, it's not. It's not going to be fun. Okay, there we go. And let's go forward very slowly. Uh, forward is... Oh, P. That's probably... Okay, we can very slowly go forward. That's nice. I can't really see much of what's happening, so we're going to go forward just a little bit, and we're going to test the welders. What are we hitting? Are we hitting this? Are you crashing into that? Oops. Okay, have we done any welding? Yeah, no, no, it hasn't, actually. It hasn't got to the welders. Uh, this worries me slightly. That uh, very slightly worries me. Temporarily, we're removing these. They cause, they cause issue. Okay, let's just move forward and hope for the best. Oh, I heard welding. And I can actually kind of... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we should have gone about enough so we can actually see if it's working. Oh, we've done one block. That's a good sign. I guess let's keep going. And hope for the best. Hopefully this doesn't weld. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't I mean, mine all of our pieces, though. Okay, let's keep moving forward. I hear good sounds. Okay, let's do a quick test. Check this out. Okay, so if we move slow, it seems like it's got it. But look at this. Look at this. It's working so far, but it also looks like we might have a little bit of trouble there. We're going to see what happens once we get there. Hopefully we'll stop before this wheel would get to it. So we, we want to go forward a little bit more. This is the testing phase. We'll be able to go much faster once we, once we get through this. Okay, check this out. Aha! Okay, so it did seem to destroy the blocks uh, that were there. So that's certainly good. It's going to be a very slow process, but maybe I'll time lapse it and we'll, you know, we'll go forward a little bit faster than, uh, than this. Because <laughs> it's going to be kind of slow. Basically, I'm looking out for those those lights that you see at the top. That means it's uh, 
it's welding. I'm looking out for that. And if I don't see that, then we have a problem. My worst fear is getting this thing taken off. If this thing falls off, I'll probably... I don't know how I'll get it back on. Well, let's just hope that it doesn't come to that. I suppose I should do periodic checks of my inventory. We can do a quick check right here to see how much we have. Uh, well, <laughs> these are actually grabbing some scrap metal, it looks like. But uh, it actually looks like we're about to run out on the top. How are you guys already about to run out? I wonder if they're... Oh, you know what? I bet... Man, I bet I know what they're doing. I bet they're welding it up, this is breaking it down, and then they're welding it again. Man, that's that's not cool. That's gonna go through a lot of a lot of stuff really fast. Hey, look how far we've come. That's pretty good. And it's making a, actually a very even crater throughout the whole thing. This is one way we could like shape how we want this thing to look. I think this is fine. Honestly, this just this look right here. It's got like a shelf on the side. We could probably make it more circular if we want, but I think it's going to be fine, honestly. Uh, Alright, let's get back to it. Um, we've we've rearranged this a little bit up here so that these are a little farther than normal. Hopefully you don't eat you. But I don't think we've had that problem before, so I don't think we'll have it in the future. Let's just go forward. Okay, this should last us at least to the next transition period. And let's continue. Let's get right into the welding! And I guess since we've just gone a little bit, I should probably check on the cargo. See if they're... Uh, yeah, okay, so they're not collecting anything bad. That's good. This is where an LCD to, to like keep track of the cargo inventories would be really nice and helpful. But it's fine. It's fine. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. What happened? Why? 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 Oh, you didn't weld the piece. Oh, I should have known, man. Luckily, I stopped it in time, so we should be able to get this back on with uh, with not that much of a problem. All right, pistons. This is slight. Ooh, blocks I can weld. This is slightly risky because pistons in my past have tended to, uh, woo, you know. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this works. Okay, K. I'll go to our pistons. Grab all of them. Call them pistons. Pistons. There we go. If I can spell correctly. We're going to set their speed to a very, very low, like a negative 0 0.1. Negative 0 0.1. Awesome. We're going to set their max distance to 1. So, well, something lower, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to... What do we want to do? Probably extend them all. Probably reverse them all at the same time. Boom. Let's see if that causes any problem. I'm watching them. You can kind of see them right there. We're waiting for them to hit the ground so they can start pushing us up. Okay, they're pushing us up a little bit. This is pretty good. Is that enough? I think that might be. Let's hop out real quick and let's take a gander. That is not enough quite yet. We need to go a little bit more. Or we can just keep the pistons extended and then here. You know what? Let's do that. Press number seven to reverse. Press number eight to extend a little more like that. There we go. And then press number nine to retract a little more. Let's try and back up a little bit. Extend extend a little more and there we go i think we're back on the track we are indeed okay we can now reverse that should put us back down nice, right nice where we were Alrighty. so that was a very abrupt ending to this little area what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move the um thing up a little bit up to about here and then we can get going again i was really hoping this would work but i guess it, it, we're probably going too fast it wasn't able to weld this or something or maybe it couldn't weld it because this was in the way. I don't know. But it, it didn't work and it almost caused uh, bad things to happen. That's probably how I'll, how I'll get it back up in, like, if it ever happens again. I'll probably just use pistons everywhere and just raise it back onto the track in hopes that that would work. But uh, let's go and grab our stuff. Okay, the ceremonial destruction of projector. And we get to reinstall it right over here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit of room. There we go. That's probably enough for the projector, which will stick right here. All right, there we go. We finally got it set up. That ah, no, I don't want to be in there. <laughs> that is that, that was dangerous. I lost 20 HP. That is a fifth, a fifth of my HP. All right, let's get this going. Let me go into third person again because I want to see from out here. Okay, this this top heaviness is really screwing with us now. We need to add something really heavy to this back part. Wait, what if? Probably deserve that one. Yep. 
Slide right into the station. Pff, probably deserved that one. Is that our... Yeah. Dang it. What the? What on earth? That was the... What on earth? Okay. That was the longest b-hop I've ever done. Or, I guess it was a skip more than a b-hop. Alright, and look at that. As quick as it got destroyed, it is back up and running, I think. <laughs> I think all of it's back up and running. Let's go forward. Oh, shoot. Do I have enough for a landing gear? That would be really nice. I would like to stick a landing gear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna stick a la We're gonna stick a temporary landing gear on here. Number nine. Put it right there. The reason I'm putting this landing gear there and switching it to uh, don't auto lock please and also pressing G so we can put it or put a button for it. The reason I'm putting that there is because I would like to stick that on the end of this thing and see if that gives it more weight. Now I know this is a bit sketchy. This might result in dead ships but uh, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah! Yeah! We did it! Look at that! Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off these. Yeah! Let's hope that doesn't do anything... Uh, do, bro, 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 stop going forward. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think we, uh, we should now not have to face that problem anymore where, uh, where it's top-heavy. That actually works perfectly. That's like a perfect counterweight. We now have to manually slow ourselves down instead of having to speed up. That is good. Good stuff. Oh shoot, we're not we're not completing all these blocks, are we? We're going a little bit too fast now. Yeah, look at that. We've got a good Oh my god. It, it, this is that thing again where it's like skipping. Look at this. Like you can't stand on the grid for some reason. But I'll grab that. <laughs> so we've got a good hundred a hundred kilometers from when we've started, which is pretty good. We wanted to go what, two hundred or something? Before we turn? I don't know how, how close we're getting to our... Here, you know what? I should probably... I should probably mine my way over here so I can see how far we have left to go. Okay, so it looks like this is the end of this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to the end of this one. Then we'll probably do one more and then we're going to start turning towards H. You know, I could probably go all the way down this whole track and find random pieces of scrap metal just lying everywhere <laughs> from all the from all the scrap pieces that this thing creates. Probably because of just inefficient drill and uh, welder positioning, but it's kind of cool. All right, unfortunately our welder ship is out of power. We managed to get it back to base and also our, our base is uh, completely broken. <laughs> this is gonna require a, a restart. I think it's a pretty good place to end this though. We got our straightaway part done. The next part is going to be the turn. Look how far we got. We got at least, at least 500 meters. We got about 500 meters from, from, the, from the start thing. Uh, to get to this point. And I'll show you, in fact, I'll use spectate cam to show you exactly where we're going to go. So pretty much we've gone from here. We went all the way this way in a nice straight away. And then what we're going to do is we're probably going to go a little farther, maybe to here. And then we're going to turn uh, this way right here. And we'll, we'll do that at the start of next episode. And maybe we'll try and get some of the, the hangar building done as well. I don't know how big we want the hangar to be. We probably aren't going to make a big hangar for Big Red. Uh, we might make a little landing pad for Big Red, but a big hangar seems like something we've already done. Uh, last season, so we'll probably make just a really small hangar. <laughs> Poor Antmobile. Man, you deserve better, Antmobile. You really did. But how's this looking so far? Just a nice straightaway. We can go in. We can see uh, how it's looking from this point of view here. 
And it's just pretty much that's what it is. It's just a long straightaway. And then there's there's me right there. And then uh, here's going to be the turn, and it's going to head right into the station right next to Big Red. So that's what you have to look forward to at the start of next episode. I would do it in this episode, but I feel like we're getting a little bit of a long episode here. So probably a good place to cut it and uh, get it actually done next episode. Um, but anyways, if you guys liked the episode, please hit that like button. What the heck was that? Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers Scrap Collecting. <laughs> Seriously, this thing produces a lot of scrap.